At one time, mobile home parks were an opportunity to own a house at a more affordable price. But the current real estate market is changing that and pushing some people out of their mobile homes. Let's go to Gina Silva live in Thousand Oaks with more. Gina. Well, Alex, Christine, we've done several stories on this issue. It happened to mobile home park residents in Carson, Huntington Beach, and now Thousand Oaks. It's kind of a little oasis in the middle of the city. 72-year-old Dee Jackson has lived at this mobile home park in Thousand Oaks since 1987. There were 35 people here, and um, it was quite busy. Now, she's the only one left. The park was sold to investors who want to redevelop the land, and that means Dee is losing her home of 35 years. I was literally paralyzed. I couldn't do anything. What is happening to Dee is a growing trend across the country. Many mobile home park residents are being uprooted because investors are buying the land to redevelop it. Is that a lot of these parks were built a long time ago in suburban rural areas that are no longer suburban rural. Developer John Friedman says the mobile home park where Dee lives was established in 1948. A lot has changed since then. The small piece of land sits in the center of Thousand Oaks. It's worth a lot of money. I don't begrudge John and his partners wanting to put something on this piece of property. That's why they bought it. Dee says John is unlike other investors who only care about making money. She says he's been kind and has been helping her find a new home. We're trying to find Dee some place to go and, uh, you know, work it out agreeable on both sides. But finding a new place to live isn't easy. Dee survives on her social security and dog grooming services. Her trailer is so old it cannot be moved to another lot. In a moment of hopelessness, she told a client. I said, I, I may be homeless. She said, no, you're not going to be homeless. That client. And it was a great opportunity to prevent a tragedy before it began. Robin Martin set up this GoFundMe account. Dee Jackson needs a home. The goal is to raise enough money to buy Dee a small mobile home and move her to a new location. My dream for Dee is to help her afford a home so that she can live and enjoy the rest of her life. She's a wonderful woman. Dee is simply overwhelmed by all the generosity. They're angels. So far, they've been uh, able to raise $28,000. If you would like to help out Dee Jackson, we will have a link to her GoFundMe account on our website. Alex, Christine, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Oh, Gina, do follow up on this one for us. We want to know what happens and hope for the best for her. Thank you so much.